dear friends here is a small message all these classes are meant for the people applying for statutory examinations under dgms for coal also we are going to release very shortly presently we are doing it for metal open cast that is restricted actually the subject can be much more deep especially when you talk about gate or any other examination like gsi or any other thing but presently we are limiting our standard only for the purpose of people appearing for first class or second class mines manager examination most of the questions in this some of them are given double star it is a request for the candidates to just remember and by heart them for their future use there is likelihood that such questions may be asked in examination this first one or two presentations can be very simple with not much confusion and whereas the coming presentations will be mathematical in nature you will be solving some problems very simple problems not much does not need even pen and paper except a calculator there is a likelihood because when the competition is more the examiners are required to make the paper tough and tough we are going to release around 100 to 150 videos in this series of 5 6 months and every video will be there for one week or 10 days on the open platform and then it will be removed i wish you all best of luck please write the examination sincerely maybe a day here or two but we will be releasing all the exams this is the geology lesson number 1 certain lessons are longer so we give paper 1 and paper 2 this is the paper 1 for prospecting and exploration we are dealing with basics prospecting is a tool in search of minerals as geologists you may be doing lot of other subjects research crystallography petrology mineralogy paleontology but all of them ultimately the goal is in search of mineral which is economical in nature the mankind's development is dependent upon minerals therefore whatever geology subject we do it is for the minerals here directly we are entering into the field geology that is exploration where the mining engineers will be asked more questions on these topics only they may not ask you anything on crystallography or other things between prospecting and exploration prospecting is the first step the work what we do initially is known as prospecting and prospecting part is exploration in exploration we will be using some instruments like uh, geophysical uh, instruments maybe some techniques like pitting and other things which you will be learning and the equipment is meant for qualitative assessment exploration method it is dependent upon the type of body like if you have some stomach ache the medicine is different if you have headache the medicine is different in the same manner when the targeted ore body is hematite the methods followed are different if it is bauxite the methods followed are different that we will be learning in brief what are the stages of prospecting the work of finding a deposit is prospecting establishment of a deposits for its quality and quantity q and q is the abbreviation for quality and quantity it is known as exploration there are three stages of exploration here i would like to caution you some books follow some system there is no fixed standard system by any governmental body about up to what stage you call reconnaissance what stage you call prospecting what is the starting point of exploration where does it end there is no such demarcation in general one thing you can understand reconnaissance is whatever either you call reconnaissance you call pitting trenching drilling whatever you are work you are doing including drilling and logging all this is the work of exploration you are exploring the prospecting means checking the prospects it is a generic term 
रिकनाइसेंस एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड असेसमेंट आर इट्स विंग्स असेसमेंट मीन्स दैट इज द फाइनल स्टेप वी डू हाउ मच मिनरल इज देयर वॉट इज इट्स क्वालिटी वॉट इज इट्स क्वान्टिटी एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स रिकनाइसेंस मीन्स दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन्वॉल्व इट इज अ वेरी लार्ज एरिया लाइक टू स्टार्ट विथ यू विल बी टेकिंग सम हंड्रेड एक्टेयर्स और टू हंड्रेड एक्टेयर्स और फाइव स्क्वायर किलोमीटर्स और टेन स्क्वायर किलोमीटर्स वेर एवर यू थिंक देर आर सर्टन प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स फॉर फाइंडिंग द मिनरल ऑफ यूर इंटरेस्ट इन द रिकनाइसेंस यू विल बी रोमिंग प्रैक्टिकली यू विल बी फिजिकली वॉकिंग ऑल द वेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूर जी पी एस एंड इन दट लार्ज एरिया इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू सम रिसर्च न्यूली एंड फाइंड एनीथिंग यू विल बी यूजिंग द जियोलॉजिकल मैप्स दट आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल the local guides you will be using like the local guides can be some mineral pieces in streams you may find some other associated minerals you may find some old workings now under such cases what you will be doing wherever you get some indications either from the geological map or from other sources you will be doing sampling in the wide space wide space means 100 by 100 or 300 by 300 150 by 150 there is no clear cut standard for it but one thing is there which is called as abundance ratio or mineral abundance i will explain you a little about mineral abundance say for example the mineral is iron ore take for example iron ore or bauxite or laterite if in a particular place it is found safely you can assume that it will extend by at least a few hundreds of meters or tens of meters means if bauxite is here it may be there after another 100 meters also but in the same time if you find some copper vein here or some gold uh, traces here there is no guarantee you will find it after another 10 meters therefore depending on the type of the mineral you will be deciding what is the spacing of sampling and what type of mapping you are supposed to do coming to second stage of prospecting further studies are done after reconnaissance in the delineated area delineated area means from reconnaissance you will get an approximate idea that okay out of this 200 square kilometers this 5 square kilometers looks to be better you will have your own indications maybe you found many samples or you found some traces in the stream sediments or your pitting and trenching has shown you some good values all these things so you will be delineating the area means reducing the area and doing further work like geophysical studies which may vary with mineral geochemical studies we will be making trenches and pits also we will do shallow drilling and after that we will do detailed geological mapping this chemical studies physical and trenches all these things we will be learning in the coming lectures assessment of dip and strike is also done at this stage from the trenches and pits what is detailed exploration this is more or less the last stage of exploration where you will be doing core drilling deep trenching and shafts and cross cuts the core drill holes are located based upon the geological mapping done in the previous stage this is a double star point we will be explaining you this in the coming lectures how the core drill holes are located you see if there is some 5 square kilometers area what you delineated you cannot drill by will and wish there are certain standards or there are certain methods depending on the ore body and depending on the outcrops what you find depending on the dip and strike what you find maybe if it is a steep dipping you need closer spacing all these things we will be learning in the coming lectures the core data logging what do you mean by logging logging means arranging the data that you obtain from core drilling in a map form in a cross sectional form so the first thing that is done after getting the core drilling data is making cross sections again in this cross sections you have many types which you will be learning in the future lectures you will call section along central axial line or section along cross sections or other similar uh, sections in the lines parallel to the central axial line so all these things we will be learning 
physical and chemical analysis of samples is given more importance on a later stage after core data logging is done. Now comes the final assessment where the calculation of grade wise reserves is done, mineability of the deposit is done, calculation of economics is also done like cut off grade, tonnage grade curves, preparation of cross sections, preparation of slice plans blazed upon planned bench height. Just you observe one small thing here. Slice plans are prepared based on the bench height. Okay. Clear? This is very important to remember. Whereas cross sections, they do not need any bench heights for preparation. Whereas slice plans, it is very essential. You make the thickness of slice equal to bench height. What it means? It means you have to decide approximately what is likely to be your bench height. Then we go for different planning schedules like production planning, missionary planning, working plans, preparation of pet charts. Pet means program evolution and review techniques. All these charts will be prepared. Now the next comes the technical planning. In technical planning we will be deciding the method of driving entries, ventilation, ventilation planning like which can be the ventilation shaft, how the ventilation should go, if it is underground, okay. Then support system, missionary choices and sizes. Then comes lastly the location of crusher. Once you decide the quality of different blocks of the material, you will be coming to the location of crusher. It looks simple that you can locate the crusher anywhere. No. Definitely no. Because even a few tens of meters in the location change of the crusher can change the economics of the mine badly. That we will be learning how to locate a crusher. And one point I can tell you in advance that crusher location is based upon the average grade that you are supposed to get. Okay, I am repeating, it depends upon the average grade which you are supposed to get. So you can think on this, how the average grade is located for crusher location. It's very interesting. You will really find it interesting. We will explain you in the coming classes. This is known as infrastructural planning. Now, a few geological, uh, this one we have taken from internet. I can show you how actually they look. Uh, yes, it is opening. Okay, good. Now you see, here it is a trench they made and uh, here after a trench is made the people are now here they are digging. After that some mineral probably they would have found and uh, this is all these maps are taken from Google courtesy Google and next comes uh, how a trench is measured these uh, pictures are very interesting that's why I have just collected from this one you can see this this uh, top zone with certain uh, grass roots and other things generally it is called as horizon A then horizon B is here then with a tape they are measuring this is to give you a rough idea how a trench looks okay nothing big about it now come now the last one it is also about a trench which is more clear picture somehow i loved it here you see they have made a trench probably it's a coal okay definitely not manganese or graphite graphite you will not get at this stage this looks to be coal if i am right our geology friends may correct me if i am wrong so these are how the trenching is done. Now I thank you and subscribe for the channel to get your notifications and I request you to spread this to all possible mining engineers and geologists. Friends, these two fraternities have suffered a lot. People like me of my age, we have grown up to whatever extent we can grow with our efficiencies. Now, the number of competitions has increased but at the same time vacancies are also there due to certain unfortunate methods and policies everybody is not getting a job. GATE has become very important for degree holders 
and statutory examination has become important for all other people including degree holders and diploma holders there are no much noted uh, institutions that teach this subject i know a couple of people are there surely they must be good you can also see this channel and take benefit of this i am once again reminding you you will be sent in your mail id the question paper some notes notes may be very normal notes and i request you to solve the questions and the key will be released shortly after the question paper is uploaded we are presently planning to remove the video after 10 days let us see whether it can be continuous or 10 days i thank you for your cooperation and good luck